Oi, oi! How the devil are we? Big shout out to Mrs. Short. Short for letting Carl come out to play this week. <laughs> I like that. How are we all? Let's just turn that off. I'll just listen to some banging tunes. Uh, let's just say hello. Who's in there? Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How did your yeah, event yesterday? How did your, I think, how did your event go? Uh, Callum. Alejandro. Hello, Alejandro. Uh, Carl. Brian. Mr. Barham. Ross. Paul. Ashley. Uh, who else is that? Candle Fire. Who's Candle Fire? Hello, Candle Fire. Uh, massive buzz. What do you mean, buzz? Oh, not again. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Let, let me let me open my app. What do you mean, buzz? Oh, oh there is a buzz, isn't there? Can you flip in out? I know there's no sound. You don't have to flip and keep saying. Oh. Can you flip in out? I know there's no sound. How is that sounding? I can't even hear myself. So, oh. How is that sounding? Right, let's try and go old school. How does that sound? Right, let's try and go old school. Yay! There we go. We've got a massive hum though. Right, let's try and go old school. Yay! There we go. Uh, Well, this is a farce, isn't it? Why, why an absolute joke? Right, 
let's uh, let's see if that's fixed itself. this sounding don't don't ask Miranda don't ask Right, how is that sounding? I can't hear myself back now. We fixed it. If we if we fixed it. Is that is that perfect? Is that working? How does that sound? Because I can't hear it. Hang on, right. I'm how, how does that sound? Because I can't hear it. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Yay! Oh, look out. Mummy Barman's coming now. Look, Mummy Barman's coming. It's fine. I, I know it's fine. They're telling me, look. No. Well, come on then. No. Woo <laughs> She's done a runner. She's done a runner. Right. Let's, uh, apologies for that. Why do I get, I get loads of people kind of watching now for the intrigue. Right, let's turn that off. Every flipping week. Do you know what? There's absolutely zero difference to how it was last night for, for a Zoom. And oh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, right, let's turn this off. Let's start that again. Hello. Right, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the suspension going. Let's, let's do take two. <laughs>
And good evening, boys and girls. It's like nothing went wrong. I've, ju I've just been 10 minutes late. That's all. <laughs> wow, there we go. So, <laughs> probably lose video. Evening all. I do apologise about that. I have, I generally have no ideas. I test it all before I go live. Well, I test it all at about half seven. And there's absolutely no issues. It's just a flipping thing. <laughs> Miranda, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing to see here. So, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's put that on because tonight is part two of I Make Your Cocktails. I have to have a bit of this. So, cocktail eyes, I had a few left over from uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so, Andy Barham, I'm going to be doing uh, another one of yours. Uh, Mr. Rose, I haven't seen Trevor in here yet, but I'm going to be doing uh, Trevor sent me one through the week. Uh, Callum, I've got one of yours. Mark, uh, Mr. SH, I've got one of yours. Trevor V, Ross, Paul Campion, I'm going to be trying yours. That's a bit crazy, but a bit of milk. Uh, Christopher and Ash, I've got one of yours. So I think there's nine there to make. So we're going to get, we're going to crack on in a second. Uh, there probably won't be many much time for uh, questions tonight, but if you have got a question, uh, make sure you put question, big capital letters. We'll try and get it, but we can't... Uh, we can't guarantee we'll get them because it's I make your cocktails. Right, I'm just double checking that, that no one's got any issues. Trevor, oh no, the buzz is back. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Is it, right, is, am I, do I sound all right or is Trevor just winding me up? Oh no, the buzz is back. Do I sound absolutely cool? Kay, you've missed nothing. You've absolutely missed nothing. Do I sound, so let's talk. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Right, Pat, no it's not. What does no it's not? That means nothing to me. No it's not. Does the sound, right, perfect. Bloody hell, Trevor. Trevor, you can go, you can, you can be demoted to Trevor number two. Just because Trevor number one's not here doesn't mean to say, you know. Right, so. Without further ado, I'm, I'm going to get, I was gonna, I'm going to say this politely, Paul, Mr. Campion, I'm going to do yours first, because yours is a bit of intrigue. Uh, Paul, so Paul found this in a bar in Menorca, uh, and he's gone for gin, so we're going to use a bit of gin, uh, some fresh lemon juice. <laughs> he's called for lemon syrup, so I'm actually going to add a bit more uh, lemon juice and a bit of sugar syrup. But <laughs> we've got, I'm going to do a bit of soda water, <laughs> but the crazy thing is, is... Uh, Milk. <laughs> so I've got no, I've absolutely got no idea how this is going to go, but we're going to go with it. I thought I would do this one first because all just, all shades are crazy. So uh, this is Mr. Campions all the way from <laughs> Menorca. Uh, 50 mil double, an English double bubble of gin. Uh, got that 50 mil. Uh, Trevor number three now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you pipe down Trevor number three. Trevor Rose, right, Trevor Rose, I need a name uh, for your coconut, uh, tequila, reposado, banana thing, I need a name for that, I'm going to be doing that in about one, two, about three cocktails time. Uh, right, so, right, uh, 50 ml double bubble of gin, he's called for 10 of lemon juice and 10 of lemon syrup, so I'm going to go 15 of lemon juice. And I'm gonna go uh, five of sugar syrup. So that should give us 10 and 10, so that'll be perfect. Five mil of that. I'm going back to your mezcla tonight, ain't I? Going back. Hello, Hugh, how are you? Steve, that man gin from Menorca. Man from Menorca. I made cocktails with cream before, but not milk. Oh, I always use milk. I'm too tight for cream. Uh, so we're going five mil now. I need to go, I'm, I'm going to spill this all over the shot, so I'm going to use a pipette for this. <laughs> See, I told you I'd spill it all over the place. Right, five mil. Right. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Paul Campion, what have you done to me? Name, Jesus, the pressure. It's all right, it's all right, Trevor number two. You've, you've got plenty of time. We've, we've relegated Trevor V to Trevor number three. So you could be Trevor number two. We've got to decide who Trevor number one is now. <laughs> oh, that's not good. The, the microphone wobbles. All right. Right. So, uh, and then how much soda water? 
top up with soda water. Uh, let's just wash out that. So I'm going to do 10, 25. What should we do? What should we do? Let's do 75 mil of soda water for this. Uh, and I'm just going to do a dirty dump for this one. A, di a dirty, dirty dump in... What should we go for? In that one. Let's go. Let's go for that. A bit less ice, but there we go. Right. So, Mr. Campion, what was this called? <laughs> yeah, it needs, where's my spoons? There's one. It needs, it needs at least another five mil of that. It's quite interesting though, it's very gin forward. Gin fizz. That's not a gin fizz. It's getting there now. A bit of extra sugar. Mm. It's quite, it's quite, it's all right. I can't, um, yeah. Interesting, interesting one. Right then, so uh, let's go to number two, Andy Barham. Trevor, I can't see gifts on this thing. The face, is, Tre is Trevor done? Can you see gifts in the YouTube chat? I don't know. The ginalizer. Right, uh, Mr. Barham, this is going for one of yours now. So, this is your spicy peanut. That's what I'm gonna do. I uh, haven't got any Tabasco sauce, but we're obviously gonna be using uh, Giffard. Some chili. So, uh, I've got Reposado tequila. Uh, we've got that, and we've got some pineapple juice. And, you want it Sprite, why? Well, I'm not gonna use Sprite, I'm gonna use Gunner. Uh, like a, a better sort of lemon lime soda, uh, less sweet. So, a spicy pina for this. Uh, what are we going for? We're going 45 mil. Right, 45 mil of a reposado. Lovely, jubbly. We're going for. Now he wanted how many drops of three dashes of Tabasco. So, uh, I reckon, I reckon five mil. I reckon five mil of this Giffard per minute. Actually, I'm gonna do seven and a half mil. There we go. That'll give us a nice bit of chili. Right, Christine, hey Christine, how are you? Oh, this will make, <laughs> I love those gifs. Gifs, gifs, whatever we call them. Uh, and pie, have we got nothing else? We got no lime juice, no, okay. Uh, 30 mil, wrong end, 30 mil of pressed pineapple juice. Bit of icy, icy, uh, and this one, it's gonna be a bit crazy, this one. Right, I'm just thinking what glass to go for for this one. The old sundowner, let's have a, let's have a little close up of that, the old sundowner. I don't know what he is, it's like a hare. Is that a hare or a rabbit? No one knows. These are really cool, these are. You want the, uh, the turtle juice, I like my turtle juice. I'm not sure, because I'm so far ahead, has turtle juice debuted yet on my channel? I can't remember, I can't remember when it comes out, when it came out this week or next week. But turtle juice, that's what you want. Woohoo! Right, so, uh, let's go for, what are we doing, 50, yeah, let's do um, uh, 65, let's do 60 mil. So 50, I need to get the other jigger out. 60. Right, and I think I'm going to do a dirty dump with this one as well. Uh, what have we got? Let's go, let's go crazy. Let's go if I can get the blooming thing. Here we go. Let's go in the sling gas. I haven't used that for a while. That's why, look, that's why we're going in the sling glass. So, this is Andy Barham's spicy pina. I'm not going to bother garnish tonight because garnishing is just a bit of faff. Oh yeah, that, I love this stuff. Giffard's um, piment, the Espaletti, so piment chili liqueur. Oh, that's, that's proper good, seven and a half mil. So we did 45 mils, very much tequila forward. 
45 mil uh, Reposado, 30 mil of pineapple juice, 7.5 mil. I need to write that down actually. Andy B, 7.5 of chili. Uh, and then we've done, so the, um, I, I remember, Gunner. Mm. Lovely Jubbly is cancelled. Either double Jubbly or subly Jubbly. What's subly Jubbly? That piment has a burn, Ash. Oh, is that a question? Who stocks those cans? Gunner, <laughs> direct from Gunner. They're having, um, I've had to postpone the filming session because I've done uh, some more cocktails coming up. They've got the raspberry on it and they've run out of raspberry. They haven't re-canned it yet. Um, but these are lovely. Chat to them um, uh, and they might be able to send you a sample pack. These are basically low calorie, flavour forward. Um, let's, just do, let's just do the whole very, very quickly while I'm enjoying Andy's drink. Uh, boom, 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 boom. There we go. One, two, three. I should have got them out because I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So they've all got they've all got fun things though. So we've got turtle juice there. It's saving the turtles. Uh, we've got they've actually delisted that, but that's really nice. Uh, cola and ginger. We've got uh, the lemonade with a hint of mint. That is absolutely delicious. We like that one. And ginger, ginger lemonade. It's a really nice ginger beer. Uh, five, less than 5% sugar and calorie wise, uh, 22 calories. 22 calories. Awesome, so we like a bit of that. Right, moving swiftly on. Uh, I'm just gonna run down the list now. So uh, Trevor Rose, you are up next. I do, I do like this one, Mr. Byron. Mm, that's really good. Uh, Ross, hello Ross, I've seen you. I've got your Apple one coming up. Hang on, 19, 19p? Who's 19p? Right, watch town, blah, blah, blah. Loads of comments. Right. Mm, lovely. Cool. I tell you what, I, chili and pineapple's lovely, but chili and mango, I don't know, someone needs to explain to me why chili and mango works so well. It's not that pine, chili and pineapple doesn't, but chili and mango is just phenomenal, especially with tequila. Right, I'm gonna have to keep the milky one to one side, so I don't use that. Right, uh, so Mr. Trevor Rose, coconut tequila, reposado tequila, banana tequila, vanilla tequila, <laughs> lime tequila, uh, guava tequila, and some chocolate tequila. So lots of tequila. So we've got uh, two tequilas, Reposado and Coconut. We've got uh, banana liqueur. We've got vanilla sugar syrup, uh, some lime juice, some guava soda water, and some chocolate bitters. And I'll get the old, um, you know, let's get that one. That's the one. I'll get the old pipette ready. Trevor doesn't want me to spritz his, spritz his cocktail. He wants, he wants drops, he wants pipettes. He wants dashes, so he's gonna get pipettes. Right then. So, Trevor Rose. Also, oh, no, I'll, I'll guess with the glass, it's fine. We shall guess with the glass. So, first up, this is coconut base. So we're going 45 mil of that. And boys and girls, exciting news, these are now available on drink stuff. Cool, that's a good job. I didn't hit the escape button, innit? Otherwise we would have crashed the thing. Uh, and we're professional here. We never have any cock-ups, do we? Never. So, uh, 45 mil, one and a half ounces of coconut tequila. Cascabel, if you're watching, I need to restock, please. Uh, then we're going half an ounce, 15 mil of Reposado. Or just, no, yeah, sorry. Sorry. A little bit more, 17 mil of Reposado. Uh, banana, 15, half an ounce. Half an ounce of banana. So 45 mil of uh, Reposado, four, uh, 15 mil of, sorry, 45 mil of coconut, 15 mil of Reposado, 15 mil of banana. Uh, vanilla syrup, 15 mil of vanilla syrup. I'm looking forward to this one, I must say, I must say. 15 mil of vanilla, uh, lime juice. So you're trying to catch me out now, aren't you? 0.75 of an ounce. What's 0.75 of an ounce, eh? 22, 22 and a half mil. There we go. So, where was this end doing it? Three quarters of an ounce. Perfect. There we go. Bang on the money. 
Uh, and then chocolate bitters, two dashes of chocolate bitters. Well, we know now, because we've done the experiment, that that is about one dash. So, one, two of chocolate bitters. Lovely, this wince my pipette out. The old guava soda's gonna come after the old shaky shaky, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a dirty dump for this one as well. I like a bit, I like a bit of dirty dumps. Dirty dump, dirty dumps are all professional, ain't they? There we go. Right. Is that reduced now? It's I don't know. Are you lot chatting amongst yourselves? If I, if I, if I need to see something, someone like wave their hands at me. Very, very. Uh... Go, oi, barman, shut up for two minutes in capital letters and I'll probably see it then. Right, guava soda, uh, two ounces. So 60 mil of the old Rubicon guava soda. This is gonna be all shades of magical. Uh, Trevor, did you, give me a did you give me a name for this? Uh, if you did, capital letters, or just send it to me tomorrow because I'll, I'll write it down on the thing. Oh, it's slight, slight. Who said to me? So, someone said to me, Al Ho, is it out on? Mr. Al Ho. He said to me the other day, he cracked me up. He went, What's all this sliding into someone's denims? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Slide into my denims. <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was genius. Right, uh, glass wise, so let's go for this one. I oh, over there, they washed, didn't they? So this is Trevor Roses. Right, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. So obviously we'd garnish this up nice and nice and proper, wouldn't we? <laughs> cactus, cactus cream pie. There we go. I saw that in capital letters. See, capital letters just flash out at me. Oh dear God, that is flipping delicious. Do you know what? Trevor, your guava soda over there, is it sweet like Fanta or Tango or is it soda water like seltzer water? Is it a guava so seltzer or a guava soda? I know you crazy people call them different things. Is it sweet or not so sweet? Because I think this is actually a bit, a bit on the sweeter side, but my guava soda is quite sweet. But, oh, this is good, I like this. It needs slightly less sweetness for me. TR. Vanilla, I might, I might dial that down to like 10, uh, 10 mil maybe? 10 mil of vanilla. Instead of, instead of 15, might even go a bit further than that. Mm. I like that one. I possibly, I'll tell you what I'd do as well, because I don't know what coconut tequila you've used, Trev, but I would possibly go equal measures of tequila on that. Because the Reposado is like fighting. That's more of a coconut liqueur than a tequila. And the Reposado's fighting to come out. So I'd probably go equal uh, equal tequila, split base. So 30 and 30 tequila. 30, 30 tequila. But I like that, I like that. I'm just getting a very subtle hint of um, yeah, I use Doritos, it's made of sugar cane, not corn, so the sweetness is dialed back, yeah. I think that's what it is. The co so the coconut is quite sweet, uh, the, the banana is quite sweet, and the vanilla is quite sweet, and that's quite sweet. But, flavour wise, it's really good. So yeah, I would put, I'd probably do, just for us in the UK, I'd do a split base on that instead of 45, 15, 30, 30. So, we like that one. Uh, we like that one. Right, Callum. Callum, yours next, my friend. Uh, so Callum has gone for Vodder. He's gone for some spuds. Uh, now Callum's asked for puree, so, and I'm not gonna use puree because uh, Monin just give me uh, lots of stuff. So we are going Monin's. Uh, so we've got that and we've got strawberry, which, you know, they're virtually if you're using ODK or uh, Monin's purees, they're virtually the same thing. So we're going there. We're going lime juice, pineapple juice. Uh, that's my pineapple juice. Orange juice and uh, lemonade as well. So I'm going to use the old gunner again for this one. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, right. Now, Callum. 
Uh, you've given me the recipe. I'm going to adapt your recipe because, Callum, you've given me 130 mil of mixer to um, just 50 mil of booze. So I'm going to dial the mixer right back and take the booze a bit more. So I'm going to go up to 60 mil and drop your mixer in half. All right? Because we don't really need 150, well, 130 mil of mixer going on. Um, and then go from there. So we'll keep that that side. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Right. So uh, I'm going to go instead of 50 mil, I'm going to go for 60 mil double bubble of, uh, of spuds. Spud vodka. Just normal, just normal vodka. Sorry for that. For those, for those not in the know, it's uh, my vodka's potato based. But any vodka will do. It's grain based, wheat based, whatever, rye based. Uh, so 60 mil of vodka, um, 15 and 15 of that with 20. Yeah, I'll adapt that. So 15 mil of uh, morning strawberry. Then uh, I'm going to do 15 mil again of. Um, morning mango. Come on, there we go. Da, 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 a bit of mango, a bit of straws. Oh, I've seen that, Jerry. Oh, that's right, you lot are chatting amongst yourselves. That's what we like, you chat amongst yourselves. Lots of blogs going on here about Jerry. Jerritos. Is that like Doritos, but with the J? Jerritos. Uh, so we've done that, we've done that. I, I need to up the lime juice slightly to compensate for the sweetness. So, uh, 22 and a half ounce, uh, three, three quarter, 22 and a half ounces, <laughs> 22 and a half mil of lime juice. Uh, right now, orange juice, split that in half. So 15 mil of orange juice, half an ounce and pineapple juice. That was a bit more, wasn't it? Pineapple juice is 50. So we're going to do 22 and a half, uh, mil. So three quarters of an ounce of pineapple juice. There we go. And that will come after the old shaky, shaky, shaky. I like the colour. The colour, the colour's proper, isn't it? The colour's bang on. Right. Ooh. Right. Get that draining away. Oh, we like that. The mango notes. That deserves to go in that cooler glass. Uh, right, and then we need to dial that back. So we've done that. So again, 22 and a half mil of that. So three quarters of an ounce. And don't forget, that's not as sweet as lemonade either. So that's that's pretty cool. Right. Shaky, shaky, dumpy, dumpy. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, have a straw. Loving the colour. What was this called? Strawberry and mango cooler. That's all shades of fun. Possibly, just a touch more, because of the mornings, touch more lime juice. But that's a, that's a proper fun banger, that is. Maybe, just for my own personal, I'm going to amuse myself, some almond bitters. Just for my own personal amusement. That. Almond bitters. Woohoo! Callum, if you're going to make that, uh, I'll, I'll repost this recipe. Add like five mil of this Serrano or something. Oh. Yeah, we like that. Cool, I could guzzle that. Are you lot still chatting amongst yourselves? That's good. Oh, I see capital letters. What was the capital letters? Did everyone hit the like button? No. <laughs> yes. Oh, right, there you go. Yeah, you're all chatting amongst yourselves. Right, that's cool. Right. Uh, Callum. Mr. Mark SH. Let's go a bit classy for this one. So this is a coupe glass jobby. Let's just drain this. Uh, right. No, I don't need another one of those. That's all done. Let's go back to that one there. Right. Mr. Mark. So Mark has sent me his key lime sour. And this one could be a bit weak, actually. So I might need to up the recipes for this. So we've got Midori. Uh, we've got Plantation Three Stars. We want DMF coconut. Well, we ain't got any DMF. So 
because uh, I've run out. So we're going Koku Kanu, that's virtually coconut forward. I won't use a Luna because a Luna's kind of dialed back. Uh, apple juice, lime juice, that one, hang on. Oh, no, that's, sorry, that's my lemon juice. If you, don't, if you can't tell, I've got little dots so I can tell my, lime, my lemon juice. Right, that's my lime juice, which means I didn't get the apple juice. That's the apple juice. Apple juice, yes, and foamer. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, Mark has called for 15, 15, 10, which gives me like 45 mil compared to 45 mil. So, I reckon, I reckon we can go a little bit stronger in this, Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark, I reckon, uh, I, if you're if you're winding me up, uh, is, is Tim will be. No, that's all right. Don't worry. Oh, Callum, there we go. Item for the shopping list. <laughs> yes, right. I reckon, Mark. I reckon. I haven't seen you on here tonight, Mark. If you're on here, hello. If you're not, uh, if you're watching this back, hello. Uh, <laughs> I reckon, right. Midori. How can we interpret this? Fifteen. I think forty-five mil is a bit too. A bit too weak. Let's no, look, 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 let's just, let's just go, let's just go with it. Pipe down, Barman, let's just go. 15 mil of Midori. 15 mil. Midori, Midori, everyone loves Midori. Uh, plantation three stars, 15 mil of Plantation three stars. Or, that's fair. Oh, that's a good run. Oh, that's a good run. Oh, I tell you what. I tell, I was, I, it's a cocktail video, I was probably in like three weeks time now, know me, but uh, the Zion Macca, I was playing about with the Zion Macca uh, on Friday, whenever I filmed, Thursday, Friday, opened up, poured it, and just these tropical like banana notes and Jamaican funk just came all over it, was, oh my god, it's delightful that rum. Right, um, 10 mil of um, coconut rum, magicals. Uh, and then we're going for 40 mil of pressed apple juice because no one wants any of that clear stuff from concentrate. Like, why? Why, why would you bother? Why? Why would you do that? So 40 mil of pressed pressed apple juice, or we're liking the colour, uh, and 20 mil of lime juice. Right. I haven't played about with the ratio at all in the slightest. Some miraculous foamers. Hello, Pete, Mr. Tribal, how are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Coconut and melon, maybe tequila over rum though. What? I don't know what you lot are chatting about now. I don't know what you lot are chatting about. Right, I've got to do a dry shaky. Let's get the old frothage. Look at that. I need, I need one of those klaxons. Right, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Right, and because I might have to wash up in a second, Kevin, I might need your elevator reusing in a minute. I, I realised that I can I can upload advert breaks to this, so I'm going to work on that. I only, I only realised that like half an hour ago. I'm so or whenever it was, probably an hour ago now. I'm going to I'm going to upload advert breaks so when it go off and what and uh, um, wash the cocktail shakers. Right, double strain. Let's see, we could have we could have upped slightly. Mummy Barman's eyeing this one up. To be fair, Mummy, Mummy Barman's eyeing that one up as well, as I can tell. If she's not watching Coronation Street or whatever's on now. Right. That does need a bit of work. It's very citrus forward now. Right. Think on our feet. Think on our feet. So, 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 so. 
it tastes good, it tastes good, we need, so what did we do? We did 15 mil, so we need a full ounce of that, so another 15 mil of rum, half an ounce, oh, I keep doing that, that's a shame, do it on purpose, don't we? So we turn that into an ounce, and the coconut is there, and the Midori is there. I think, right, I'm just gonna add five mil of sugar syrup. Perhaps if you used um, like fake apple juice, because that would be a bit sweeter than pressed apple juice, perhaps that might be it as well. Oh, now we're getting there. Right. Come on, froth, frothy. Right. Oh, see. We've got the we've got the Midori now. We've got subtle hints of coconut, rum. Yes. So what did we do? We did Callum, uh, not Callum, uh, Mark. Oh no, I haven't written this down. Callum plus 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 plus. Uh, uh, what did we do? I know what I was going to do for that. Almond bitters. That's what we did. Almond bitters. Um, oh, more sticky. And then Mark. We did, so plus 15 mil of three stars, plus five mil sugar. That works. That works a treat. Who's this? Adrian, hello, Adrian. Right, um, just ordered a bottle of blood orange Whitney Neal gin and some Giffard lychee liqueur. Have any idea how she could bind them? Ask me, ask me again next week. because that could be a proper, a long answer to that one. So, next question. More like an interval than an ad break. Yeah, an interval. Um, we can't we can get your popcorn and your ice creams and stuff like that. So, uh, what are we doing now? I'll, I'll make, I've got one more shaker left. I'll do that, I'll do the next one, and then I'll go and wash up. So, who's up next? Let's go, oh, I'll tell you what, I don't need a cocktail shaker for this one. Let's go for Trevor V's. Trevor V's uh, liquor, or liquor, liquor, oh, I can't even say this properly, liquor libre. So like a Cuba libre, but a liquor libre. So we've got, what, every time barman needs a bit more booze. So we have got, uh, what are we doing? Fiji, 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 Fiji. The world's best rum. Uh, we've got liquor 43, if I've got enough left, I have just got enough left. Um, some lime juice. That's my lime juice, because that's my apple. And tiki bitters. And uh, some Coca-Cola. Now, Trevor V, there is no way on God's green earth that I'm sticking 300 mil of Coca-Cola with 60 mil of booze, because there'd, there'd, there'd be no point in me doing the booze. So not only am I gonna cut your Coca-Cola in half, I'm actually gonna cut it in quarter. Uh, so we're gonna do, we're going to do 75 mil of cola, um, all right, Be because we've only got 60 mil of booze. So we definitely, definitely, definitely don't need 300 mil of cola. So with that in mind, have I got a better glass in there? Uh, oh, let's just go, let's just go that one. So don't need to, uh, I might just pour this over ice, actually. In true Cuba Libre style. So let's go lime juice first, actually. Let's go lime juice. Not that one, that one. Uh, is that all right? Yeah, 15, 15, right. So going half an ounce of lime juice. Uh, tiki bitters can go in. I'm gonna do two dashes of this. So, one, bit of tiki bitters. Yeah, two, perfect. Perfect of my tiki bitters. If anyone wants a uh, what, what question, there we go. If anyone wants a close up, that's the tiki bitters. Bitterman's Elemakuli tiki bitters. Uh, if anyone cl wants a close-up of that, because that's awesome, Isle of Fiji. Uh, so we're going 30 mil of Isle of Fiji. Damn it, I didn't overpour. <laughs> this, 
Oh. Anyone will think I'm drunk. That's why I never put ice in my glass first, because I always, always do that. <laughs> what a waste of rum that was. What a waste of rum. There we go. My bar's smelling amazing now. So we're doing that, and then we're doing uh, 30 mil of liquor 43. Oh, have we finished the bottle? Nearly, nearly, nearly. Right. Oh. Right, uh, and then we're going to do just uh, flat coke bottle of these things. I only opened that yesterday. Uh, 60 and that's 75. So we're going to do that by the time we've stirred it as well. How strong is that? Do I need any more coke? I don't think I'm going to need any more coke. Hello, Dominic. Oh, see, no, we don't need any more coke. We don't need any more. Oh, that is... That is flipping delicious. You get the tiki bitters coming off that with that rum. That is, that's a great shout, Trevor. Trevor, Trevor. <laughs> I can't keep calling you Trevor one, two, and three. Trevor V, that is a great, great shout. I'm not going to dilute that anymore with cola. Not a chance. We're just gonna crush your ice it up. Should have should have been a shaken and crushed ice job, I reckon that. But I flipping love that. Trevor V. TV TV 75 mil cola. See all these people that keep putting like too much mixer in. That I could. That could be a, a regular go-to, actually. Those tiki bitters, they are genius. Right. I do need to wash up. Uh, so I'm going to do this. If there's anything I can be chatting about while I'm washing up. Uh, I'm not sure there is. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Is there anything? Van smells of porn star martinis. Is there anything for me to be chatting about? Hang on, what? So Dominic, I am infusing vodka with mint. How long should that last? Well, if you're making, if you're doing a, <laughs> I was going to give you a sarcastic answer there. Um, use Colgate. It, honestly, um, a higher, I could chat about this while I'm over here. The higher ABV, um, the higher ABV alcohol you use will trap the flavours in for longer. So, uh, in theory, you a mint. If you if you infuse mint for like three or four days, in theory, if you use um, like Ray and nephew or a, a, sorry, you're using vodka, aren't you? Um, if you if you can get some really strong vodka and just kind of trap that trap that alcohol. In theory, the mint should last you you know six months or so. It shouldn't kind of disappear anywhere. But it's all, it's all about the alcohol. The alcohol will preserve flavours. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But I would potentially do something with... Because we can't really get Everclear in the UK. Um, but Everclear is a great shout for doing stuff like that. Right. I don't think we can get Everclear in the UK. Right, we've washed up. We are there. Do you know what? I, and that has really surprised me. Trevor V, this is my... This is my star of the show. This is awesome. I love this. That's just a simple, simple one, two, three, four, five ingredient highball. That's that's flipping amazing. Right. Anything else here before I jump on? There's way too many comments. I can't I can't dive through them all. Uh, Andrew, hello, Andrew, Alex Ferguson. You're chatting to Alex. That's cool. That's not for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I will I will amuse you. I will I will add a bit more cola. I will do it. But I so I've basically doubled up. That can was 150 mil. 
possible it went. I had a bit out of it last night. So what did I have out of it last night? About 30 mil. So that was that was about 120 mil. Yeah, see, it's, it's lost it. It's, you've still got a bit of the flavour there, but 120 mil, that's that's lost all the, the limey goodness and the, and the rum and the tiki bitters. So, yeah. 75 mil of cola. That's just kind of, oh, I'm gutted. That's just ruined it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I've, I've just killed it now. That's, what, a, what a poo that is. Right, blah, 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 blah. Gooseberry, loving the Whitney Neal Gooseberry. Oh, there's Gooseberry videos. Candle fire, there's Gooseberry videos. Two coming back to back, probably in two weeks' time. But there we go. Dominic, there you go. Trevor's on it. Thanks, Trevor. Hello, Debs. How are you, gorgeous? You right? I'm in the background. Why are, you, why are you in the background, Debs? Debs, you should be out front and centre. You don't need to be in the background. Come on. Out you come. Right, so we've done that. Ross, let's go for... No, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Christopher. I'm going to go for Christopher next because we don't hear from Christopher that often. Bless you, in Germany. But Christopher, you are up next. So, Christopher, rhubarb vodka. I'm surprised you didn't go gin, actually, Christopher. But there we go. Rhubarb vodka. Now, Christopher has asked for Galliano, vanilla Galliano. Now, Galliano, vanilla Galliano is very different to, to L'Authentico and very different to Liquor 43. So instead of vanilla Galliano, I'm going to go vanilla uh, Giffard because that would be virtually a direct replacement, like for like. All right. Um, Shambord, he's asked for Shambord as well. I'm loath to use Shambord. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use Shambord. I'm loath to use Shambord. So we're going to use a bit of Framboise de Ronce. No, no one needs Shambord in your life when you've got that. Uh, lemon juice. Is that my lemon? Yeah, that's my lemon. Sugar. I'll need a bit less sugar because that's sweeter than Shambord. So that, and he only asked for 7.5, so that's fine. And Foamers. So this would be uh, another coupe glass and he's called it a Raspy Ruby. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bang on. Right. Bang. Bang on the old money. So, yes, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, Trevor, sorry. Thank you, Trevor. Trevor's my little, my little helper in the, uh, the questions. I just, I just, if I see them late, I just pretend Trevor's already answered it because he's all over it, isn't he? Trevor, where's your, where's your channel starting anyway? Um... Right, it should be, we'll keep blah, 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 events. Right, so let's go, let's go. Rhubarb vodka, yes. JJ Whitley, we, I finally need the, the, the new um, quintessentially Russian vodka, please. Not the quintessentially British vodka. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do? 50 mil. Uh, should we stick to his 50 mil or 60? No, let's do 50. 50 mil, oh, wrong end, wrong side. So 50 mil, a UK double bubble of this, finally get the, I'm gonna save a bit actually, get the Russian, just to see whether it tastes any different. Because for those of you that don't know, uh, and I, I might have brushed over this, I'm not sure. For those of you that don't know, there is the difference between, right, I'll, I'll tell you the quick funny story, because, well it's not a funny story, it's a true story. So can we see uh, JJ's got Russian vodka there and just vodka there, and it says, and in little letters, it says quintessentially, uh, quintessentially British in there. So the difference is, during lockdown, during COVID, Halewoods have uh, bought and opened a Russian distillery. So now they can actually claim, and it's actually in Russia, now they can actually claim it's Russian vodka. Uh, and they just, uh, well, I don't know whether it's shipped over here and flavoured, or whether it's flavoured over there and then shipped here, but yes, all their vodka is now made in Russia as opposed it to the factory up in Liverpool. Factory, distillery, whatever you want to call it. So yes, it is actually authentically Russian vodka. That's why they've changed the labels. Um, right, so we've done that. 15 mil of Galliano, of, um, well yeah, Galliano vanilla. So Gal vanilla Galliano, I'm not sure I've got any here. No, I haven't, I've got the Authentico. Um, Galliano vanilla's got the blue top and Authentico's got the white top. Authentico is much more like liquor 43. Galliano vanilla with the blue top is like a vanilla liqueur, essentially. So we just use Galliano, uh, we just use Giffard. So 15 mil of a Giffard. 
Jiffards. I love all my membership crew now are, are really on to Jiffards. Everyone, all of them have got Jiffards. Jiffard, Jiffard, Jiffard. I tell you, oh, uh, Mr. O'Dwyer. Is, is Mr. O'Dwyer in the house? Darren, is Darren in the house? Darren, Darren, Darren. If anyone's seen Darren, Darren, if you're listening, if you're in your house, I'm not sure. I want to, did the Frambois de Ronce and the, um, the, the one they delisted. What have you got? I've forgotten what you got. Um, are they the same? Do they taste the same or not? Right, so Christopher's asked for 10 mil of Chambord. So be, as it's a bit sweeter, I'm going to go seven and a half mil of, Cham of uh, Frambois de Ronce. So Darren, my Irish friend, managed to get hold of a bottle of Jiffards that got delisted in a 2018, I think. Um, and they delisted it for the Frambois de Ronce. Uh, so sugar syrup, Christopher wanted 7.5. Will that with the galley? Yeah, let's stick to. Oh, I'll, I'll go for five mil. I'll go for five mil because I've used a slightly sweeter ingredient. Here we go. Right, uh, fifteen mil of lemon juice. Fifteen mil of lemon juice, and then some magical foamers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> pineapple grenade. Who's chatting about pineapple grenade? Right, dry shaky. Now, what's what's all that? Tribal. There we go. I love the fact you're all giving each other cocktail recipes. That's brilliant. Saves me doing some work, doesn't it? I can just I can just chat rubbish. Right. Oh, the smells. Oh. Right, I think this could be a coupe glass, a uh, Nicanora glass. Is that my bigger one? Which one's my bigger one? That's my bigger one. Let's go for a Nicanora. Let's go all classy, Christopher. Let's go classy. Oh, yeah. And we would garnish out. Christopher wants me to garnish out with a raspberry normally, so we'll get the photo going for this. Take a bow, Christopher. Take a bow. That. Oh, that has relegated that before the extra cola. That has relegated that to second place. That is a stunning. Right, what did we do? We did 7.5 milk of Christopher. Christopher, are you in the house? I haven't seen you comment yet. Christopher. Legend Christopher. Uh, 7.5 milk of FDR. And what did we do? We did five mil of sugar syrup. Five mil sugar syrup. Sugar, so instead of that, foamer. That. What are the specs on that raspberry? So Trevor, Trevor Rose. Uh, 50, I know I stuck to this bit. Um, and I might kind of up it slightly to do uh, ounces because I'll do 60 mils and all that. So 50 mil, Trevor, if you are, if you are ready to write down and to type out, uh, young Trevor, I've delayed so you've got a pen at hand. Uh, 50 mil of root. Hey, Christopher, there you go, sunshine. Take a bow, mate. Take a bow. So, uh, 50 mil of rhubarb vodka. Bearing in mind, right, Trev? Bearing in mind, our rhubarb vodka, our JJ Whitley's, are like alcoholic Jiffards. They are that strong in flavour. So, you would probably get a rhubarb Jiffard and maybe, I don't know, you to do, to do 50 mil. Actually, to right to do sixty mil, I reckon you could probably do thirty-five mil of vodka and twenty-five mil of of Jiffard rhubarb, and you would get the same sort of taste. I reckon, maybe even thirty and thirty. Um, but yeah. So anyway, fifty mil of rhubarb vodka, fifteen mil of Jiffard Galliano of of Jiffard vanilla. It's because I've got written Galliano down here. So fifteen mil of, of Jiffard vanilla. I've then done seven and a half mil of Frambois de Ronce, Giffard, uh, 15 mil of lemon juice, and then just five mil of sugar because that is a damn sight sweeter than Chambord. All right, so there we go, and just the foamers. All right, here he is. Right, Darren. 
Christopher, that is a stunner. I love that. That is proper up my street. I wouldn't change anything about that at all. Maybe add more so it's in a bigger glass. But yeah, I love that. I should really drink Nick and Norris like that, shouldn't I? There we go. So it looks better. Right. Darren. Yes, I did taste the, the Murrays. That's it. Thicker and richer and a lot more raspberry forward. Didn't I? Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. Mm. So, Darren, which do you prefer? And I'm thinking cocktail uses here. Because obviously the morose is... Well, the Frambois de Rance is their kind of... Let's dump Chambord on its backside and make a better liqueur. Because that just beats Chambord hands down. You know, it, it does. Chambord, Chambord's lovely, but it's like a little bit lacking in flavour. Whereas that is just... Poo! And that's why they delisted it. I, well, okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right. Da -da -da. Is that everything? Debs, yes, Debs, you will love that one, Debs. Right, 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 right. Hang on. Oh, candle fire. Yes, that one looks awesome. We love that. Right. Uh, thanks, TV. Yes, uh, Trevor, v, uh, Trevor V, half a lime, two dashes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One ounce of Fiji, one ounce. Uh, yes, that's exactly what I've just. That's exactly what I've just done for Trevor V's. That is banging. I love that one. Absolutely love that. Don't add any more coke though, because that's just like. Mm. Yeah. Right. Carl Shaw, I didn't think shipping alcohol was allowed, blah, blah, blah. Right, okay, hide. Right then, so we've done that, we've done that. Now I'll go to, or oh, Ash. Is that Ash is in there? Is Ash still in the house? Ash, how's the, how's the, how's the, uh, the wife? Is she, is she, where are we now? Are we week, I've lost track of weeks. Week 35, week 36. How are we getting on, Ash? Hello, Jonathan, how are you? Just done record cocktail sales, awesome. Nice. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Hey, Georgie. How are you, darling? How's life? Georgie, you missed this. You need to slide into my denims. <laughs> oh, that's a funny story. I'll tell you about that tomorrow. You haven't missed the drinks. We've still got a few left. Uh, hang on. I'll line them up for you, Georgie. I'll line them up. Uh, so we kind of, you haven't missed the drinks. I've still got a few more to come. Don't you worry. Uh, so we've got, hang on, there we go. So this is Paul's, Paul's. Um, it's sort of like a gin fizz, but not. A um, bit of milk in there. Uh, so gin, lemon, syrup, milk, soda. Uh, Andy Barham's. Uh, we've got tequila, uh, chili, pineapple, and lemonade. Uh, oh, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Yes, this is Trevor Roses. So coconut, tequila, normal tequila, banana, vanilla, lime, chocolate bitters, and guava. Uh, Callum's, it's got strawberry and mango cooler. So we've got vodka, strawberry, mango, lime, pineapple, orange, lemonade. We've got Mark, uh, Mark SH. So we've got Midori, rum, coconut, apple juice, and lime juice in there. I'm sure Giffard, Carl, Giffard have a lot of alcohol. <laughs> this It's liquids. I don't think we can actually ship liquids though. I think syrups come, come in that as well. I think it's all, it's all really funny. Trying to get your head around the ins and outs of what we can and can't ship at the moment is just stupid. Really is stupid. Anyway, uh, so back to Georgie. This is Trevor V's uh, Liquor Libre. So we've got um, Isle of Fiji rum. Uh, we've got liquor 43, bit of lime juice, tiki bitters, and coke. That is a banger. And then Christopher's just smashed it completely out of the park. Rhubarb vodka, uh, vanilla liqueur, raspberry liqueur, lemon and sugar, and foamers. So there we go. You're caught up. Right. Let's just put these. So next up now is, who should we go to? Ross. Let's go to Ross. Actually, have I got two more? I've got two more. I've got Ross and I've got Ash. And as I haven't seen Ash, there he is, Ash is there. Sorry, Ash. There he is, I thought he was here. I don't think it'll be long, mate. She makes an appearance. 
but I'm working away, so hopefully in the next few days. Oh, everyone give a massive big shout out to, 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 to Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Gibson. Is it Mrs. Gibson? Is she Miss? Is she, or is she Miss to be Gibson? Is it wife? I don't know. I don't know. Still working on my lychee one. So uh, the next time make your cocktails will be mid uh, two thirds of the way through June. So there we go. Right, so let's crack on. Ross. I know you're always here. I know you're always here, mate. Right, so Ross, Gentleman Jack. Ross has gone for a bit class. What do I do this one? No, I will. It's a reason I'm saving ashes till last because, uh, yeah, this could be quite good. Uh, so, very easy, but quite good. So, Ash, uh, Ross, Gentleman Jack. Uh, what was that? Lem lemon. Yeah, lemon. Right, sorry. I don't normally write lemon that high up, but lemon. Uh, ginger liqueur, ginger of the Indies. Uh, or jo, or jeet, or jat. Apple juice. Aromatics. I'm gonna go Angosturas, because I think most of you will have Angosturas. And foamers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Banging, right. So this is Ross's apple and ginger whiskey sour. It's something that'll be up my strasser. Not married just yet. Ah, oh, put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Pear, hang on, George. What's Georgie saying? Pear, ODK, elderflower, lemon light. Oh, that sounds that sounds proper tasty, doesn't it? So, Ash, how how are you gonna? How right, Ash? Not to put you on the spot, but how are you gonna? Have you popped the question? That's quite probably. Probably not married just yet. That means you've popped the question. So we'll ignore that. I was gonna I was gonna put you on the spot. How no, let's put you on the spot. Ash, how did you pop the question? <laughs> right. Uh, so cocktail shakers. Uh, let's go for the old gentleman Jack. So Ross has worked in UK as well. So we're going 50 mil, a UK double bubble of spin that round, of uh, gentleman Jack. 50 mil. Uh, we're then going 25 mil of lemon juice. That's my lime juice. That's my lemon juice. 25 mil of lemon juice. Uh, we are then going 15 mil of ginger. Ginger. Oh, lovely stuff. Uh, 10 mil of orgite. 10 mil of orge. Boop. 10 mil of orge. Right, uh, let's pop that there. We've got, oh, I didn't write down the ar two aromatics. So two dashes. Two of those. Uh, what's that? Apple juice. Apple juice. 30 mil of apple juice. I like what you've done here, Russ. You've gone, you gone, you gone half UK and half US. I like what you're doing. <laughs> it's like me half the time. Can't make my mind up. Do I work in ounces or do I work in UK shots? Right. And then famous. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Ross, I didn't write down how you want this served. I'm gonna serve this up in a rock glass over ice. I'm sorry if that's not, not how nature intended it, young Ross, but that's how I'm going. Ross, oh Ross, you're right there in the chat. You're right on there. Ross, do you want it martini glassed or coupe glassed and strained or do you want it rocks glass with ice? How do you want it, Ross? You tell me, you sunshine, you tell me. I didn't write it down, I'm really sorry. Let's get, I've put him on the spot long enough, so uh, let's, let's hide that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, look at that. I've got a load of crushed ice here. Who wanted crushed ice? Probably Callum. Oops. Rocks with ice and a slice of apple. Oh, I can do the slice of apple. To be fair, I could have done this, the pineapple and all that on that stuff as well. Rocks, glass and ice. I can, can I have that delivered? Oh, oh, here we go. It's funny. That's for all the people on Facebook as well. How many have we got on Facebook? Right. 
for all the people on Facebook, there you go, that can't see that, that's how Ash proposed. <laughs> You old romantic, you. <laughs> right, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go fresh ice. Let's go fresh ice, because I, I do like double straining a, 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 a froffage. Right. Look at that. So apple and ginger, whiskey sour. I feel like this one's taken me like three hours to make. Stop chatting, Barman, stop chatting. Uh, they're right there, look. That's why I was going to do it. Apple, apple slices. We've got them now. I still can't work out whether these are really good uh, value for money or not. I think there's a lot of apples in there, look. It's a lot of, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a lot. But yeah, they're, they're all right. So I can't, I can't work it. They're like 20 quid. And there's probably only, to be fair, there's probably only three apples in there for 20 quid. But, yeah, I, 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 my little brain hasn't computed yet whether that's good value for money or not. If you've got a dehydrator, or if you like um, other mark, and you've worked out that your Fahrenheit to centigrade, <laughs> that's another funny story for another time. Hang on. Right, let's go. Let's, put, let's take Ash out of the old. There we go. Oh, Darren slid into my denims. <laughs> Darren, get out of my denims. <laughs> when people are in their favourites, they kind of pop up on your home screen. What? Hard to tell. Oh, Darren, Darren's sending me private DMs in my, in my denims. That. I think. I think that needs just a touch more sugar, if I'm honest. The almond, the all shat's not coming out. So what do we do? We did 10 mil of all shat. Might do another five. Right, a good stir. Just sent me a denim emoji. <laughs> right, that is now a banger. 15 mil. That extra 5 mil, Ross. Uh, Ross, plus 5 or jet. Or jet. Ross, that is a banger. We like that. I might, I'm not actually getting. I might have actually added a bit more ginger. See, the old King's Ginger, the old, the old King's Ginger would have smashed that with 15 mil. And that, that's not a bad ginger, it's just not that ginger. Why did they change it? Why? See what you started now, Ross. See what you started. Why did they change it? Why did they change it? I'll tell you what, just, just, because, just because I can. So I did 15, so let's go another five. Nailed. Uh, so 20 mil, where is it? Ross, there. So 20 mil of ginger plus five ginger as well. That's stunner. I tell you what, that Gentleman Jack is really good. Really good flavors to come for that. I don't care. I get a few comments on oh, what you're using Jack Daniels for. I don't care. I really do like Jack Daniels, especially that rye. I'm becoming a big fan. It's every week that goes past, I'm a big fan of that rye. I'm getting there. And it makes me want to kind of be in the US and just have access to all the crazy stuff because I've looked at the price difference. I found a few websites in the US and looked at the price difference to what we, and you're literally talking like 40 or $50 price difference from the stuff that I want to buy to the stuff that's over there. So anyway, the last cocktail of the night, Ash, I know you sent me like 15, because uh, <laughs> you're obviously bored. Um, sorry, Mrs. Ash. 
Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Gibson to be. I'm sorry. Uh, but so the one I've picked for this one, Ash, is your nutty oranges. Brackets needs a better name uh, because this is so simple. But I I I don't can't remember having anything like this in my like life. I must have done, but it's so simple. So I wanted to give it a go. So we've got vanilla vodka. Um, we've got, now what's cacao brown, so I'm going for Mozart, just not the creamy one, just my cacao replacement Mozart. Fresh orange juice, that's why I've got my orange juice out with bits. But, um, now he wanted Frangelico, I haven't got Frangelico. What I've got is, if I can get it, uh, is Nocello. And this is why I was quite excited, because I haven't really found an excuse to play with Nocello yet. Nocello is actually a famous kind of uh, Italian liqueur in its own right. It's actually hazelnut and walnut. Um, probably more walnut forward than hazelnut. But it's delicious. I absolutely love this stuff. And I've made uh, plenty of sours with this. Instead of amaretto sours, like hazelnut and walnut sours. And oh my God. So, as I say, really, really simple one, this. But I wanted to try it anyway. Uh, so this would be, uh, and I might have to up the alcohol of this as well. 30, 20, and 7.5. So 50, well, nearly 60 mil. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. I sound like an alcoholic, don't I? Oh, there's lots of uh, specs on. Oh, hang on. He's, he's put in there. Right, specs on Ross's drink. Right. So Trevor. Right, Trevor. Uh, Specs, specs, specs. Right, Trevor. Trevor Rose, uh, Ross's drink. We did 50 mil of Gentleman Jack. I, in truth, I would up that to 60. Uh, so 60 mil of Gentleman Jack. Uh, 22, 25 mil of lemon juice. So again, probably 30 mil. But So I went 50 mil of Gentleman Jack, 25 mil of lemon juice. Uh, I then did 20 mil of ginger, Jiffard ginger. Uh, we'd up that from 10, yeah. So 15 mil of orgeat, orgeo. Uh, apple juice was 30 mil. Then I did two dashes of Angostura bitters and then my foamers. So the, the actual measurements we went, I went with here for this cocktail was 50, 50 Gentleman Jack, 25 mil lemon juice, 20 of ginger, 15 of orgeat, orgeat, orgeo, 30 of apple juice, uh, two Angostura, and then foamers. All right, that's what I that's what I made. That's what that is. There we go. Right. So vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. So we've done thirty. Is this going to be enough? Thirty mil. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thirty. Uh, so thirty mil. One ounce of vanilla vodka. Uh. Wrong way around. We are going, I've still got quite a few of you on. More, it's more jumping on, it's great, isn't it? Uh, so he wants 20 mil of cacao brown. So, now what was ABV is this? 17, cacao. How strong is normal cacao? Oh, I'll tell you, I've got cacao here actually. 24, 17. I'll tell you what, just for giggles, because I haven't used that in flipping ages, just for giggles, just for giggles, I will use cacao brown. Just for you, Ash. Uh, so 20 mil. What's 20 mil? Two thirds. <laughs> What's the wrong way round? I was on the outside side. Right. Uh, and then he wants seven point now. This. Oh, I love this stuff. This is, it's like, it's like, um, it's like Nutella without it being Nutella. It's just amazing, this stuff. I love it. Uh, 7.5 mil. I've got a 7.5. It's quite full. There we go. So 7.5 mil. If you want to, you can see that Nutella. It's quite, it's quite famous in, uh, in Italy. Nocello, it's a big thing, it's a big deal. Just not in the UK. Uh, and then orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice, complete with bits. And what have we done? 
60 ml of orange juice. I'm going to go with it. I'll, I'll humour you. I'll go for it. But I know, but I know hazelnut and orange works quite well. That's why I was quite intrigued by this one. Uh, so, ice up. Is that a small bowls bottle you have, or do you have massive hands? Apocalypse, I've got massive hands. You know what they say about people with massive hands? Brush, brush it over that one. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, and I think I can dirty dump this. Um, let's go for, as Debs is on. Debs, are you still on? As Debs is on, oh, oh. Let's just put that out there for Debs. Uh, let's go for this one. Gold rim. There we go, right. There we go, so. And this is Ash's nutty oranges that needs a better name. That's all shades of fun. Uh, Ross, Ross wanted it. That's why I did it. Ross wanted it in a coop, in a rocks glass over ice. Cause, cause I asked him, Trevor. All right, Trevor. I tell you what, Ash. That's all shades of fun. Orange hazel. Hazel orange. I tell you what. That. Go on, go on, Georgie. Come on, Georgie. Massive gloves. <laughs> Just for apocalyptic, it's obviously got a fetish about my hands. There we go, look. That's, that's the size of my hands, look. There is, is that what floats your boat? Apo apocalyp. What's, it, what's, what's the name? I know. That's the thing with these funny names. I don't know whether they're male or female. Ap apo there we go, look. Just, just to give me two minutes of fame, look. Ap Apoca, apocalypse Merc. There we go, look. There we go. That's my hands, look. <laughs> right. Are we back there? Come on, come on, Georgie. What's your better name? I really like this. Chocolate, orange. Then the cello. I want to say it's quite weak in ABV, but then... This, to put this into perspective, we've got 24% ABV, we've got 24% ABV, and we've got 38% ABV. So, I might have even done, what do we do? I might have even done 45. I really like that. The whole chocolate, hazelnut, and orange thing, like Nutella and orange, with the vanilla note, I, yeah. But, I, oh, I don't know. So there we go. <laughs> right, Ross. Seen the little one? Don't change your taste. <laughs> right, so there we go, boys and girls. And I've completely forgotten what order we went in now. I kind of need to keep these in the right order so I can do it. So, uh, Ross, so Ash, Ross, Back to front. Ash, Ross, Christopher. I think I think I did that one. Mark, Callum, Tre. Yeah, I think I've nailed it. I think I've nailed it. Jesus, I think I've nailed it. Leggings. Well played, leggings. Let's go back to this one. What did we do? What did I add for this one? Mark. This is Mark's. Mark's still needs a little bit of work for me. And I added... I added extra sugar and more rum. Do you know what? Now I've tasted it, I kind of want to put... 
I kind of want to put almond in that, some orgeat. I want, I want even more sweetness because it's very citrusy. Absolutely those four would not change at all in the slightest. Trevor's, uh, Trevor, I know, Trevor, yours is banging, Trevor Rose, yours is banging. I know exactly how I'd change that. As I say, I just think just to kind of compensate for the UK equivalent spirits to what you've got, uh, I think ours are a bit sweet because we've got a sweeter tooth. We're, we're a nation of fatties, isn't we, over here? Well, some of us are. Um, but I just, I just think I would go split base tequila on that. But that is delightful. <laughs> how, can, how can we play with pools? To be fair, it's actually quite a nice drink. With the, when I added the sugar to it, it's just a bit, it's just a bit weird getting your head around it. Gin, lemon, sugar, milk, soda. Perhaps lemonade instead of, or the gunner instead of soda. Hmm, interesting. Yes, a kaleidoscope of cocktails. Paul, uh, 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 yeah, Paul, Mr. Campion. So when you're in Menorca. Was the was the finished drink? Was it sweet? Was it how how was the finished drink? Describe Mr. Campion. Describe your Georgie. Me and you can fall out if I see any more bacon comments. Um, Paul, describe to me how that cocktail tasted. I, I I know what the milk's for. The milk is trying to give it that kind of lovely sort of like almost like Ramos gin fizzes. Darren Darren's still sliding into my den denims. Darren's got a beanie's bonnet about, about his Jiffards now. <laughs> BTA. Hello, BTA. A Coke float. Yeah, I just, I'm just interested to know how Paul's kind of tasting in there. Because I've made that not sweet. But I think that could potentially be a bit sweet. I think, hmm. What is, what's the actual specs for a Ramos? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's find the actual the actual Difford's Guide specs to a Ramos Gin Fizz. Difford's, 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 Difford's. The home for discerning drinkers. Right. Um, what are we doing? Ramos. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, blah, blah, blah. So, gin, lemon, lime, sugar. That can't be the Ramos Gin Fizz. Orange flower water, vanilla extract, pasteurized egg, single cream. So, meh. so okay. So, hang on. Is is a Ramos old Tom gin? I thought Ramos was London dry gin. So, for instance, right. If that's the official, official, official Ramos gin fizz. So, old Tom gin is sweeter than a London dry. So that would be for, that would add a bit more sweetness to it as well. A blue frozen margarita? No. There's a great channel for a blue frozen margarita. He's called Tipsy and his last name's Bartender. <laughs> tap, tap, what's that? Tap, a, tap a knock. Oh, no. A blue frozen margarita? It's just a margarita that's blue, isn't it? So. The, I, that can't be, that can't be the official, official Ramos Gin Fizz, can it? Surely, surely. I need, I need more clarification. Trevor Rose. Trevor, or who else? Who else is in? Trevor Rose, stick me your Ramos Gin Fizz um, uh, recipe. I'm trying to find, I haven't got this. I need my cocktail books down here instead of upstairs in the office. I'll get the old Savoy bartender's hat. Uh, handle out then. Uh, right, Ramos Gin Fizz. Let's go to liquor.com. I accept liquor. Blah, blah, blah. Right. See, it is. Okay. See, two, oh, two ounces of gin. Simple syrup, cream, lemon, lime, orange flower water, egg whites. Oh, yeah. See, I, I think Diffard's just getting a bit posh with old Tom. I think I think the Ramos is normal gin, but I think that just needs a bit to be a bit sweeter. Loads of people have slid into my denim jeans tonight. <laughs> so, 
uh, what I'm going to do, boys and girls, uh, what I said to my legends um, was that I was going to pick my favourite five out of two. Um, so I've got, I did part one, which this was all supposed to be part one. Uh, so I did part one, what, two weeks ago now? Um, and, and this is that. And then I'm going to do another one. Um, probably, I don't know what the date is. I don't see how the date's fall. Let's pick a date, boys and girls, June. Right, June, hang on, so where are we now? So we've got the 30th, yeah, 23rd, so 30th, one, two, three. So the 20th of June, 20th of June, boys and girls, uh, legends, I'm gonna do another one of these. Um, so th that'll be your part, your official part two, part three. Um, so get working on recipes. And you know what, I'm just, I've got no limit on my cocktail book, I'm just gonna add these all in. I'm going to work on that one because I just think that needs a bit more sweetness. But it is, it is sort of like a Ramos without it being a Ramos. Um, I would have to send my MR cream food, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to put them all because there's no bad ones in there. I Because I played with them, I've adapted them. I think they're great. I'm just going to put them all in my cocktail book. My cocktail book will be out in August. And I keep saying that because you guys are now my accountability. Georgie is my proper accountability. She's the one kicking me up the arse. But because I'm saying it, you guys are my accountability. There's no excuses for me not having it out uh, for my birthday at the start of August. That's what I want. So my cocktail book will be there. Uh, it's all going to be broken down into sections. And my, me my members... Uh, are going to have their own section in there. And this is just going to be an ongoing volume every year. So every cocktail I do, not every cocktail I do, but uh, a lot of the cocktails I do will go into my cocktail book and we'll publish one every year going forward. And I think that's going to be cool. So we'll get them all like different colour, like colour coordinating, like volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, because there's just, I, you know me, I don't make mojitos. I don't make like old fashions. I do quirky riffs and it's just no end to that sort of cocktail thing. So I think there's a huge market for that sort of cocktail book. So that's what's coming. And why not? Why not? You guys, you know, these are, I mean, these, some of these, that before I killed it with Coke. Mark, Mark, there you go, Mark. Mark, I've played with yours a little bit. I'm still not 100% nailed on yours, Mark. It needs, it needs something. I just think it needs a bit more sugar. Um, but Mark, that's yours, my friends. There you go. Cheers. Uh, we like that. Your key lime sour. So yeah, they're all just going to go in. It's, it's going to be fun, uh, and that's my cocktail book. I've I'm kind of looking at 150 pages roughly at the moment, but I think that could be more. Um, and now my zooms are dying off. But I'm purposely not rebooking. Well, to be fair, the inquiries are dying off, but I'm not rebooking Zooms because I just want time to focus on this sort of stuff now. Um, so, yeah, there we go. So, uh, buh, 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 buh. yeah, no. I, so, Mark, um, so, Mr. As you've just joined, I don't have any more cotter. <laughs> Paul, come on, Paul. Even if it's uh, a Guinness float. <laughs> uh, so, Mark, I've done your key lime sour. So, you gave me 15 mil of Midori, 15 mil of plantation, three stars, uh, 10 mil of coconut rum, 40 mil of apple juice, 20 mil of lime juice, and foamers, right? Mark, I upped your rum to make it rum based because we lost the rum. And I added a tiny bit more sugar. But I still, I'm, sod it. It's, 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 there's still loads of you on. So, do you know what? Sod it, Mark. Let's, now you're here. Now that you're here, Mark, we've got that. I'm just going to add, because I've got a funny feeling this could be dynamite for a key lime sour. I'm just going to add like five mil of almond or jet syrup. I think, I think this could be a little bit of dynamite going on here. Another, let's just shake down with one more ice cube, just to kind of chill it. Ash, I've what, I've, whoa, 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 it's Ash, what's Ash saying? Is Ash, is Ash giving me grief? Ash, don't start on me, don't, don't, don't start getting all pugnacious. I've watched a lot of cocktail channels, and this one is by far the best. Ash, don't start with me, you know, 
If you've got a problem, say it to my face, Ash. <laughs> Ash, oh, we're going to have a big old cuddle, aren't we? Ash, where do you live? I've forgotten. You're not, you're not a million miles away from me, are you? Well, as in 300 miles away. You're not 300 miles away from me. But we'll, we'll wet the baby's head. <laughs> right. Uh, let's, let's double strain this. Oh, Georgie, if you're still on, my Zoom last night with all oh, your neck of the woods. Uh, Letchworth, Bulldog, Hitchin, and um, um, I've forgotten the name of a couple of villages out your way. It's really bizarre. There was like, there was like, where are you? And I was like, I'm Duxford, just south of Cambridge. Where are you? And they were like, oh, we're just the other end of the 505. It's still not quite there. It's, it's right there on the tip of my... I really want to nail this one. It's right there on the tip of my fingers, but I can't. North of Manchester. Ah, oh, Ash. Right. I tell you what, Ash. I'm in Manchester every... When is it? February or March? I want to say March. We'll be... We'll meet before then. But I'm up in every... Every uh, March, it's the NRB, Northern Bar Show, Northern Restaurant Bar Show up in um, uh, Manchester, Central Manchester. So I'm up there for like three days. Well, two nights, three days. So we'll have a little sesh. Um, I do have some names for you, Georgie, actually. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll slide into your denims tomorrow. <laughs> I, won't, I won't sell their names live on the stream, but I'll slide into your denims. Um, that's, that's one you saying. I can't believe I've never put that together before, but that's brilliant. I'm going to slide into your denims. <laughs> what about that should? It's the sweetness, and I don't want to add any more sweetness because we've got. We've already got. Apple. And oh, we haven't. We've got five mil. So that was only 10 mil of sugar. So I've only got 10 mil of sugar. So perhaps, 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 perhaps. Sorry, I thought I, I thought I already had like 15 mil of sugar in there. I haven't. 15, 15, 15. So now I've got 5, 10. Now I've got 15 mil of sugar in that cocktail. That's better. Now it's coming there. So I've got 10 mil. So I've got 10 mil of, oh no, five mil of sugar and 10 mil of orgeo. 10. That's now getting there. I reckon if I made that properly again. Mm. Right. Great channel. Thanks, Dan, my hero. Where are you, Dan? Right, Miranda. Hang on, I'm gonna go. Right, I'm gonna wash my hands. Two secs, because I'm all sticky. All sticky, and now I'm gonna kind of scroll back and see some of these, some of these uh, comments and all that, because I know there's a lot of chat, and half of the fun about this live stream is about the banter and the chats. Oh, what are we doing next week? There we go. You lot, while there's loads of you on. Oh, it's loads of you just dropped off as well. I've just lost like literally like 10 people in three seconds. What happened there? Um, uh, what? Bleh. Oh, that's because I disappeared, no doubt. <laughs> so while there's still quite a few of you on, what are we doing next week? What do you want to What do you want to hear about and all that? I, quite, I kind of like the question and answer things where there's no theme and everyone just dives on with questions and that. That's quite funny. Uh, but I kind of need a theme. Right, so where are we going? So where are we? So we got back to that... Yay, it's not ended. No, not yet. Not yet. It's only half nine. It's a school. It's, uh, it's like a, well, every day's a school day, isn't it? I was drunk. Right, hang on. Where were we? I was out getting drunk for the first time this year. What's that? Tonight, Mark, are you getting drunk? Let's give that. Uh, I'm in Ontario. It's another Canadian in the house. Oh, my God. Canadians. Right. I, I make friends with all you Canadians because I'm coming over to stay and we're going to stay at all your houses when I come and do a tour of Can Canada. Canada. 
Canada. <laughs> We're coming over to Canada. I want to go and do whale watching off Vancouver because that looks awesome. So yeah, I'm coming over to Canada. I don't know when. Probably be like 10 years from now, but there we go. <laughs> oh, look out. All the Canadians are getting on. Look, look at that. Look, look. They're all getting all don't rule my turf. Look. <laughs> see. Who, me? I'm an ego tender. Hang on. What? what? What was that? I can be an ego tender. I could get, I could get proper pugnacious. There we go. Oh, that's in comments to that one. Right, there we go. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, what's Miranda saying? After COVID, we're waiting for an after COVID Canadian tour. Yep. There's so many Canadians on. I love you Canadians. You're brilliant. Uh, add some agave. We've seen that. We've, that'll be, will be great with the uh, Midori. Yep. Change the name. What? Hang on. What's this for? Change. And changed. Oh, hang on. What? Oh, that, oh, that's interesting. So the key lime sour. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. That's very similar. I've got a few of these, like tequila and um, Midori. But we can do that. I, tequila and Midori does work quite well, to be fair. That's a good shout, Trevor. That's a good shout. I get where you are now. Uh, Georgie, Georgie, what about apple vodka? What about it? Apple vodka. Yeah, I haven't played with that apple vodka for ages, to be fair, because I kind of realised that actually no one, no one's really got it. You know, I'm focusing on the big three, well, the big four at the moment, raspberry, blood orange, passion fruit, and rhubarb. And I don't know why JJ aren't focusing on that and the watermelon and the peach and apricot. Um, I, there's just something in me that thinks they might delist it. Or... They might convert it because obviously, because obviously a, a good flavour for them would like be mango, mango vodka. But I haven't got the mango gin yet. And I've got a funny feeling the mango gin might be Trevor and, uh, not Trevor, Kevin and Rachel, if they're on, would be a good one to chat about that. Because um, I've got really back into the quince and the gooseberry. I've got out of my head that they're gin. I've just got to think of them as spirits. Because they, they're not really gins, but they are banging. So, yeah, I've kind of, I've got a funny feeling there's going to be some f different things happening with that. Right. Uh, what's that? Mark, when I get a chance, make it again and let me know. We might do it. We'll do it on our Zoom, Zoom night, uh, which is the 8th, I think. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. Gooseberry Gin. There's two, there's two Gooseberry Gin cocktails coming back to back very soon. It's my, it's my favourite. It's my favourite. Oh, my favourite one. Love this stuff. Oh, so good. So, so good. Uh, closely followed by the quince. Um, I've, I've, I say, I've just dispelled the thing that they're gin. I've just not associating them with gin. I'm just associating them with being like a, a vodka. A sort of a gooseberry vodka because they're just flipping phenomenal. They are. What's this BTA? BTA. BTA. What's your real name, BTA? Highball, 10 mil of grenadine, ice, blue Powerade and vodka. Wow. Wow. That's all I've got for that. Wow. Uh, what's that? Kevin. Hello, Kevin. James up late with me in a wobbly tooth. James, you realise if your tooth falls out tonight, especially on a Sunday night, it's double bubble. Sunday, it's double bubbles, look. On a Sunday night. So if your tooth falls out tonight, then you get 50 quid as opposed to 25 quid if you put it under your pillow. It's true. Honestly, honestly, James, it's true. Every, uh, on, only on Sundays, though. If it's Mondays, you get like three, you get like 50p. And like on Tuesdays, Tuesdays, or don't even bother on Tuesdays. Tooth fair is day off on a Tuesday. But Sundays, they work like quadruple time, so it's like 50 quid, all right? Uh, <laughs> tiki night. Oh, I did, I did the tiki night. Another tiki night. Okay, interesting. Next Sunday, I take it, that is. Uh, oh, Andrew, I haven't got a bottle of Glavar here. Andrew, I don't think. I'm sure there's not a bottle of Glavar. Have I got a Glavar? I've got, I've got remnants 
of, oh no, it's not even much of that. I've got very, 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 I'm not, hang on, hang on a second, you need to see this. <laughs> can, we, can we see the amount of dust on that bottle of Drambuie? <laughs> That is brilliant. Look at the amount of dust on that. And a cobweb, look, if I turn it around. Can you see the cobwebs? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really go into the whole whiskey liqueurs thing. I don't, you know, Drambuie is like, mm. uh, I've got a beer Drambuie, but no Glover. <laughs> so, yes. Um, no, I can't, I can't no. Because I haven't, I haven't touched Glover in about 15 years or so. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, right, Mark. Uh, yeah, went out with some mates. Not going to wear... Not... <laughs> Good lad. Mark, you smashed tonight. Well done, Mark. Had a lot of rum. Whiskey and bourbon. Oh, I like that shout. That's a good shout. Whis hang on. Gin. Had a lot of rum, gin and vodka. Live stream lately. How about whiskey and bourbon? I like that shout. That's a good shout. Do you know what I'd actually like to do for my own curiosity because this blew me away so for those like trevor rose and a few others on here uh tyler tyler did a video back the other day about his um what's tyler's channel called a uh, never empty bowl did a stream about uh, um like the spirits he's had in it and he came he came on with jim beam and said he's, he's, he's like his favorite kind of like mine would be jack daniels his favorite kind of mix and bourbon and i was really surprised because in the uk jim beam has like got this real dodgy kind of like cheap and nasty, um, what's the word, reputation to it. And so, you know, it's kind of why I've steered clear of it. I love the flavor, like Cherry Stag. I love Cherry Stag. I haven't tried, I've seen Andy, if Andy's still here. I know Andy's got a bottle of peach uh, Jim Beam and that. But I generally do prefer the, um, the honey um, Jack Daniels to Jim Beam's honey. But I did love J Jack, uh, Jim Beam's um, maple. I did love their maple one. So I'd be really interested. What I'd like to do is actually, now my palate, because we're talking like literally like seven, eight years ago now since I've had Jim Beam properly. I'd like to do like a little side-by-side -side comparison. That would be quite fun. Uh, there's loads of people sliding into my DMs. Robin, 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 are you not, are you on my live stream, Robin? Robins in my DMs. But yeah, so that could be interesting. Right, hang on, there we, there we go, right. Paul, how do you come up with a cocktail? I'm asking for a friend. Mate, I, so what I've got, right, generally true, I've got pictures of everything upstairs on my thing. And I, I generally have a formula. I always kind of stick to a two, one half kind of ratio. And then I build out from there. So two parts booze, one part citrus, half a part sugar. I, I kind of stick with that for most cocktails. And then we just kind of build out from there. You kind of work out what flavours go with what and, you know. And then sometimes I'll be extra leery and think what won't go with that and make it anyway. Because half the time it's all about dispelling myths. People are like, you know. I've known some people that would turn around and go, well, raspberry doesn't, uh, raspberry doesn't go with rhubarb. Why would you put the two together? And I, I know that's true. And that's, oh, that's so good. Plus, you know, 25, 6, 7, 7 years. This year, it's year 27 uh, of doing this. Uh, and I've gone through the whole, I, I'm just going to call it ego tending. I've gone through the whole ego tending thing and know how to make the classic cocktails. I know about all that sort of stuff. It just doesn't float my boat. So once you kind of understand the principles of classic cocktails, you can then adapt them to fun cocktails, but keep them fun. So you can have a bit of pretentiousness with fun cocktails, but they're still going to be fun. They're not going to be you know, like your whole, just, you know, your, your too sweet Manhattan. Like I love a Manhattan, for instance, that's kind of like two parts um, bourbon. And, but lust out, my lust out, my sherry vermouth. So the sweeter vermouth. I can't handle a Manhattan with... Um, Martini Rosso, for instance, or anything like that. I, but the lust out, I kind of like. But for a lot of bartenders and for a lot of people, that would be too sweet, even though it's not sweet. So my palate is completely different, but, you know, it's all about just swapping, looking at what brands are out there and just kind of having to play about. That's all it is, really. It's not, you know, it's not... 
it's just fun. It's like cooking. How you know the big thing that I've I've said in the last sort of three four months of doing my Zoom online classes because they're very different to the hen parties that I I used to do. Hen parties, I'd rock up and it's all about entertainment. Yes, they want to learn how to make a mojito, porn star, gin cocktails, pina coladas, sex on the beaches, whatever. They they kind of want to make them and drink them, but they're not there to really kind of learn and appreciate. Whereas on Zoom, everyone over the last year has been there to learn. They're kind of like, wow. And the one big takeaway that I've kind of never realised before, people don't People don't associate cocktails with the whole cooking and recipe thing. People will look at a cookbook, a recipe book, and go, oh, no, I don't fancy that, but I'll swap in a bit of this and add a bit of that instead. That'll be fine. People don't generally do that with cocktails for some other reason. I don't understand why. It's exactly the same principle. You look at a recipe for a cocktail and you think, I don't fancy that, but I'll add a bit of that instead. It is that simple. But people, for some reason, and that's become massively apparent to me over the last year, that's been the big light bulb for me over the last year. Um, sorry, more people are sliding into my denim, so I keep recognising faces that have been on the live stream. Um, but yeah, people just don't comprehend it. You can just swap out and just have a little play. So, you know, that's what it's about. So there we go. Hide that. Here we go. Trevor Rose, let's do daiquiri week. I've done daiquiri. Daiquiris can get... They can be over and done with very quickly. Boring. Let's do a daiquiri. I kind of, I kind of like Trevor V's bourbon. I kind of like that because I want to go on a little bourbon tour as well. What of whiskies have I got here? I might. Oh, that could be interesting. Let me have a little think on the whole whiskey thing. Sours, juleps, old fashions. We've got three base whiskey things here. We can kind of add a play with there. That could be kind of interesting. Let me have a little think on that. Hang on, Miranda. So for the tour, you have to go province to province, checking out local. Yeah, and I've got, I would go east to west because I've got friends in Nova Scotia. Um, so I'll start off in Nova Scotia. And then we've got to go and see Dave Booze on the Rocks and Rocks, Rob's Home Bar. So that would be the next portal. But I don't know where Trevor V is. Hang on. Oh, Tre no, I know where Trevor V is. Hang on. I don't know where Christine is. And, oh, where are you, Miranda? Where are you? You're... West as well. I'm sure you're West. Or are you East? I can't think. Miranda, where are you? Um, so yeah, we're kind of, we've got to go and see Rob's home bar because I want to go and meet Odin. I, I, I don't want to go and see Rob. I'm not interested in Rob. I want to go see Odin. <laughs> oh, go, go and check out their channels. Go and check out uh, Dave Booze on the Rocks. Go and check out Rob's home bar. But Rob, Rob's brilliant. Love his channel. It's great. He's just got a head cam on. Like that. But Odin, Odin, oh, I love Odin. St. Bernard, oh, it's genius. Absolute genius. Love it. Right. Uh, take on, right, uh, Vancouver. There we go. I feel like I'm way behind, way behind in the chat now. 42. Christ, these were 10 minutes ago. I'm sorry, I'll catch up quickly. 10 minutes ago. Visit, to, yes, yes. Uh, dad, uh, daddy, miss, daddy, miss betters, bitters. Um, Paul, Paul, I think it's Paul. Yeah, he's a good lad. I know them both, to be fair. They're over in the UK quite a lot, but they've said come over, so we'll, we'll chat to them. Uh, Trevor Fee, I think gin covers. Right, I'm going to race through this. There is an apple... Oh, Rachel's in the know. Ah, there we go. See, Rachel, there we go. So, it's an apple Whitley... Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Rachel, there's an apple Whitley Neal coming? Quince, why would they do an apple? That's interesting. That ain't going to taste too, too dissimilar to quince. Hmm. That's very interesting. But I, as I say, I do got, I have got a sneaky feeling that they're doing something with those to kind of align them with those. But we don't know. Okay, this book is massive. Moped. Hello, moped. But I like that name. Moped Banzi. Nice to see you again. What's my favourite banana rum? Oh, um, favourite banana rum. Um, number one, closely followed by... Uh, hang on a minute. How many have I got here? Uh, I can get to three, very, four very quickly. Uh, can I get to five and six? I don't think I can get to them. No, I can't. They can stay there. Uh, in order. In order. Um... 
in order. Number one. Um, number two, because I finished it. <laughs> Koyaba. Like that. Uh, number three. That's all right. That's all right, but just lacks in banana. <laughs> discarded banana peel is lovely as well. I put actually put discarded banana peel right there as well. Um, yeah, but number... Oh, you can't... Hang on. Sorry, you can't see that, can you? Right, number one. Number two, Koyaba. Very, very close. Number two, three, Cargo Colt. I do like a bit of Cargo Colt, banana rum. Hoxton, right at the bottom. It's it's a nice it's a nice rum, but as far as banana rums go, yeah. Da, da, da. And no, I haven't. I'm not going to bother with DMF. No, I don't need another banana rum. Have I got another banana rum? Where's my banana rums? Oh, um, where is it? Uh, what's it called? Um, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You've got me now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know what actually comes in second place. I can't flipping find it. Where is it? Oh, I can't. I can't. Hang on. I can't find it. But I tell you, it's a bit sweeter. That's not it. But Bombo's um, banana rum. That's that's pretty good as well. Bombo. I'd actually probably put Bombo banana one in second. So not this one, but then banana one in second. I can't find a bottle. Can't find it. Anyway, so moving quick, I'm, te I'm 10 minutes behind in the comments. <laughs> Sean, hello, Sean. Gooseberry fizz. Oh, that gooseberry is stunning. We like it. Uh, there, Dar Oh, question, Darren. Any idea what a big announcement? Yeah. I, I, I'm, I've got a few suspicions, but... I don't, I don't know because, so they've still got, so JJ have still, they announced and released and they said they were coming like a cherry vodka and I forget what the other flavour was as well now. But I still don't, they haven't officially announced the Russian distillery yet. So even though it's out there and people know about it, I, I don't know. They kind of just made everything Russian, but so I, I don't know, but I think there's, I know there's definitely stuff happening. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I've got some subtle things, especially with what Whitley Neal have done with a few flavours and the limited editions coming now. So, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. What's this? Uh, Ash, I agree. That's why it's good for a live stream and not individual videos. What's, what, what, what have I missed? What have I missed? What are you agreeing with? Oh, I've got to scroll back. I think Jim and Fokker... What, 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 what? I think gin and vodka and rum covers a lot more audience than whiskey. Ah, okay, right, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you. Question. Uh, no, we've seen that, right. Uh, John. Slingsby Gooseberry. I've got Slingsbury Gooseberry uh, down there, and I'll be honest, I loved it. I absolutely love Slingsbury Gooseberry uh, until I got that bottle. And I still love that, but that's even better. It is because it's not quite as syrupy sweet and just works a lot better as a base kind of spirit. It's like Slingsbury uh, rhubarb. I loved it and then I tried um, Whitley Neal's. They are syrupy sweet. You wouldn't have them neat. You definitely wouldn't have them neat, but they just got that flavour that just carries through. Uh, yes. See, so Carl, you're on my wavelength now. You're on my wavelength, right? James, what's James saying? James, uh, Kevin, sorry, James likes that idea. Blah blah. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, go go go, Clavar. Oh, hang on. Right. Okay. I, I get what you're saying. Like, right. What's Trevor saying? I'm trying to catch up now. I'm I'm still I'm like 13 minutes behind on the comments. <laughs> Avalanche. All right. That's fine. If I, if you've already gone, bye bottom shelf there we go right okay excellent cocktail channel mr steve yes you should all call me mr steve that's my new name mr steve thank you greetings from venezuela we chatted last week about pampero didn't we uh, oh interesting what's oh what did rachel say what 
with Rachel. So Rachel, where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? Rachel. I think it's a gold bottle. Oh, I think it's more than a gold bottle. Oh, Rob's Home Bar. There he is. Hello, Rob's Home Bar. Sorry, that was like 15 minutes ago, but there we go. <laughs> Georgie, coconut and grapefruit. Oh, yeah, that's their gin, though. Yeah, the, the gin does what it says on the tin. The rum doesn't, Georgie. Uh, never heard of any of those. What, 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 we, we have nothing here. What, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's it. I've caught up with the comments. Oh, did I randomly scrub through like 15 minutes of comments? I think I did. Wow, there we go. So I caught up. Awesome. Hey, Rob, how are you, my friend? Uh, I don't know what you don't have there, but <laughs> hang on, I've got a find now that I've scrubbed through. Oh, question. Here we go. Hang on. Paul's got a question. See, I think I've scrubbed through a lot of things. I missed them. I'm really sorry if I have, but when would you use lemon juice and when would you use lime juice? So my general rule, and this can go, so I'll tell you what I do need. I need a bit of turtle juice in my life. Let's have a bit of turtle. So, the general, the general rule, lemon goes with gin, lime goes with rum, lemon goes with whiskey, so, so lemon, whiskey and gin, lime, vodka and rum. Now, there are crossovers, of course, of course you can use um, uh, lime juice with, or lemon juice with vodka. I typically wouldn't put uh, lime with whiskey. I do think that's a bit too far. Like the whole whiskey sour thing with lemon works. And if you try a whiskey sour with lime, it just doesn't. So with, so lemon juice, I would go um, lemon juice, gin. Uh, so yeah, lemon juice, gin, lemon juice, whiskey, lime juice, rum, uh, lime juice, tequila, uh, lime juice, vodka. Liqueurs is your base, uh, like amaretto, things like that, lemon juice. Um, it, look, there is no rule. There is nothing, there is no legal law that says you have to use uh, lemon juice with whiskey. It's just what I find. It's kind of those things you get taught when you're a newbie bartender. So it's what I got taught like 25 years ago and it's just stuck with me since. And my head tells me now, if I have tequila with lemon juice, it's like, that's not quite right. You know, it's not quite there. Uh, the same if I have like lime with, um, uh, lime with whiskey, it's like, that don't taste right. It prob to someone drinking it for the first time, they probably think, oh, that's all right. But it's that weird thing, because it's been drilled into me, it, it, for me, it just doesn't taste right. So. Yeah, there is no right or wrong, but that's my general golden rule. Limes, vodka, rum. Oh, look, I've kind of done the bar quite well there, haven't I? I know, because the tequila's over there. So, lot, so rum, lime, vodka, lime, tequila, lime, lemon, whiskey, gin. Liqueurs, to a certain extent. Um, I say, no right or wrong, but... Those kind of things. Uh, there we go. Yeah, on it, it's quite. It's kind of funny. I um, yeah. I, I do like Slingsby. Uh, I think that was the first rhubarb I had, and that's what I kind of got used to. And then Warner Edwards or Warner's brought out their rhubarb, um, and I was like, oh wow. That's that's really good. Um, if we're talking rhubarb gin, nothing is ever going to compete with Warner's. Warner's just smashes it. It does. Uh, but for price, for ease to get, um, you know, these these gins are designed for mixing. They're not designed to drink neat. And that's why I call. I just think it is this flavor is an extension to them. Flavor of vodka. They've got a tiny bit of juniper in there, a tiny bit of peppery spice, but. They're not, they're not gin in the truest sense of the word. They're just flavoured spirits. But for what we do is cocktails, fun cocktails, they're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. I don't know. Rob, I don't know what you don't have. I don't, I don't know what you don't. <laughs> I'm missing loads of comments here. 
I'm re I'll, I'll look back through. I don't know what you don't have. Rob's obviously answering something that I've said and I can't, I've forgotten already. Oh, banana rums. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Banana rums. There we go. Right. Night, Georgie. Uh, she's already in bed because <laughs> that was like five minutes ago. Uh, it's time for me to sing you guys. Cool. Right. Uh, numbers are dwindling off. It's 10 o'clock. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, is anyone else here? Miss Gibson will be... What's that? What's... Miss, Miss Gibson will be watching... Ah, oh, bless. I hope she's all right. Send us love. Right. Uh, it's time for me to sing, guys. Hope you're blah, blah, blah. Cool. Yes, uh, that's it for me. Uh, it is my bedtime now. I've, I've really enjoyed tonight. It's been some, there's been some awesome drinks. So well done, peeps. Uh, and I will see you next week. Uh, whiskey. I've got whiskey. I think I'm going to... Um, made up for... Yeah, that's why I was... I give value for money, don't I, Kevin? <laughs> uh, I think that's what I'm going to do next week. Some form, some, some work out of whiskey. I think that's where we are. So, cool. Uh, love you all and leave you. Thank you very much. Um, and I will see you uh, next week. All right. Toodaloo.